sunrise. Near the summit of the tallest mountain on Earth. Towering over 30,000 feet, Mauna Kea is nearly a mile taller than Mount Everest. But more than half of this behemoth lies below the waves. Its base sits over three miles beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Sitting above an extremely active hotspot in the Earth's crust, it first erupted from the ocean floor about a million years ago. Today considered dormant, Mauna Kea is theorized to have last erupted between four and six thousand years ago. It's one of the newest additions to a 4,000 mile volcanic mountain chain that stretches across the Pacific Ocean and today forms the island archipelago of Hawaii. In Hawaiian tradition, the summit of Mauna Kea is sacred, thought to be the place where the gods first created the islands. On neighboring Maui, more than 75% of the island is formed from the shield volcano Haleakala. Its summit rises 10,000 feet above sea level and is home to a crater seven miles across. People have been coming to the summit of Haleakala for centuries to honor the gods or say farewell to the dead. Meaning House of the Sun in Hawaiian. This is the place where the demigod Maui lassoed the sun on its journey across the sky. First emerging from sea level 100,000 years ago, Kilauea is one of the newest Hawaiian volcanoes and one of the most active on Earth. Its name means spewing in Hawaiian. Over its brief lifetime, its eruptions have been violent and almost constant. Its summit caldera is viewed by many native Hawaiians as the home of the volcano goddess Pele, revered as both a destroyer and creator. Along the rim of the crater, hot water vapor billows from the ground in steam vents. This phenomenon occurs when groundwater seeps down to rocks heated by magma deep underground. The rocks are so hot that it vaporizes the water, shooting it to the surface as steam. Lava flows from Kilauea have been absolutely devastating throughout history, burying entire towns at once. These slopes are painted black with the cooled pathways of centuries of eruptions. Eventually, the scorching lava flow meets the cooling waters of the Pacific Ocean. Almost 2,000 miles from the nearest continent, the Hawaiian Islands are one of the most geographically isolated places on Earth. This isolation has resulted in the evolution of an incredible diversity of endemic species of animals and plants. Kauai is also known as the Garden Isle. As the oldest of the large Hawaiian islands, its dense jungle canopy has had the longest time to mature. Today, more than 97% of the island remains undeveloped wilderness, and the island is home to less than 100,000 people. Waimea Canyon, 
called The Grand Canyon of the Pacific by Mark Twain is 10 miles long and 3,000 feet deep. Located on the western side of Kauai, Waimea is Hawaiian for red water, a reference to the erosion of the canyon's red soil. Four million years ago, while Kauai was still erupting, a portion of the island collapsed and the depression filled with lava flows. The island's central peak, Mount Waialeale, is one of the wettest places on Earth, receiving almost 400 inches of rain annually. This extreme rainfall eroded the volcanic basalt from its original black to the bright red we see today. In addition to providing nourishment to the lush green forests, that cover the valley. Over the millennia, erosion from rainwater and the punishing winter surf have shaped the mountains of western Kauai into one of the most breathtaking coastlines on Earth. Thousands of years of rainfall have sculpted the mountains into their distinct knife edge shape, meaning many cliffs in Hawaiian. Some of them tower 4,000 feet above the surf below. The coast is accessible only by air or sea. This isolation has kept the landscape looking much the same way it has for thousands of years. In ancient times, this rugged coast served as a safe burial ground for Hawaiian royalty looking to protect their bones from grave robbers. The first settlers of the Napoli coast were Polynesian navigators around the year 1200 AD. The deep, narrow valleys covered in lush jungle would have been a paradise for the early voyagers, weary from months at sea. For hundreds of years, all of the valleys of the Napoli coast would remain inhabited, and it served as a vibrant hub for trade between the westernmost islands in the archipelago. Even after these old volcanoes eventually crumbled to the sea, they serve as the foundation for an entirely different ecosystem. Hawaiian oral tradition describes all life as beginning from coral. Although they look like plants or even minerals, corals are colonies of many smaller animals called polyps, part of the same family as the jellyfish. But like plants, many species of coral get their energy from photosynthesis and thrive in the crystal clear, warm, shallow waters around Hawaii. Polyps bind together using hard calcium carbonate skeletons. This is what gives Hawaii its world famous white sand beaches. The Hawaiian Islands are home to over 4,000 acres of living reef on the main islands alone and account for 85% of all coral reefs in the United States. To early Hawaiians, 
The reef would have provided a majority of their protein and continues to be a dietary staple for many. They are one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet. Though they occupy less than a tenth of a percent of Earth's oceans, they provide a home for at least a quarter of all marine species. The only indigenous reptile of Hawaii the green sea turtle is the largest of all the hard-shelled sea turtles. Adults can grow to five feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. And it's estimated they can live to be over 100 years old. Unlike other sea turtles, they are mostly herbivorous, preferring to feed on seagrass and algae. As a result of their diet, their body fat turns green, where the turtle gets its name. The color of their shell can vary dramatically from black and brown to yellow. They inhabit the entire range of the eight major Hawaiian islands, as well as the vast surrounding area of atolls and reefs. In Hawaiian tradition, the green sea turtle is venerated as a deified ancestor to many. They are said to protect children playing on the beach, as well as being a sign of good luck to voyagers heading to sea. After mating, the females will swim from the main island chain westward a distance of nearly 600 miles to lay eggs. It is theorized that the turtles navigate these extraordinary distances by being attuned to subtle variations in the Earth's magnetic field. At night, the manta rays come out to feed. They are some of the largest fish in the ocean and can measure 18 feet across. Sailors gave them the nickname Devil Rays. But despite their menacing appearance, manta rays are harmless to humans. Their diet consists of microscopic zooplankton. They swim with their mouths wide open, filtering seawater through their specially designed gill system. When there are especially large clusters of plankton, they perform acrobatic somersaults, passing the water multiple times through their gills. After hunting in the deep ocean at night, the spinner dolphins return. They live in groups that can range in size from a few dozen to over a thousand. They communicate using clicks and whistles. Each with their own unique vocal pitch so they can tell who's speaking. They emit even higher ultrasonic frequencies for echolocation 
to cooperatively hunt down schools of bait fish in total darkness. After a long night of hunting in the deep ocean, the dolphins returned to the calm shallow bays around the islands for some much needed rest. While today, Hawaii appears to be an earthly paradise, its earliest settlers were faced with constant threats to their survival. Whether from the unforgiving environment or warring neighbor tribes. Scientists estimate the first humans to arrive in Hawaii were Polynesian explorers approximately 1,500 years ago. Faced with a constant struggle to survive, religion was of paramount importance to early Hawaiian life. The Hawaiians constructed elaborate temples to their gods using only dry stacking building techniques. This is Mo'okini Hayao, a temple to the war god. Estimated to have been built as early as the year 480, Mo'okini Hayao is thought to be one of the oldest temples in Hawaii. Here, criminals and prisoners would have been offered as human sacrifices to ensure victory in battle. Faced by threats on all sides, for most, there was only one place of true safety. The Pu'uhonua, or place of refuge, is a holy space that provided shelter to injured warriors, criminals, and refugees. Wooden carvings like these mark the boundaries of religious sites. They are carved in the likeness of the multitude of Hawaiian gods or venerated ancestors. In ancient times, this temple served as a royal mausoleum, housing the remains of 23 deified high chiefs. The powerful mana, or divine power, associated with these bones serve to consecrate this holy ground. Historians believe that these stones mark the birthplace of King Kamehameha the Great. Born into nobility in the mid-1700s, during his lifetime, Kamehameha would become a powerful chieftain on his home island of Hawaii, before expanding through a series of fierce wars with neighboring kingdoms of Maui and Oahu. In 1810, after centuries of conflict, Kamehameha the Great would, for the first time, unite the islands into one royal kingdom of Hawaii. After Kamehameha conquered Oahu, he moved his royal court from the island of Hawaii to what is now downtown Honolulu. Honolulu means calm port in Hawaiian. Once a sleepy fishing village, Honolulu is now the modern capital city of Hawaii. Hawaii's modern culture comes from its dynamic blend of people and influences from around the world. Once completely isolated from the rest of the world, 
Hawaii now welcomes millions of visitors annually. Continuing to capture our imaginations with its wild natural beauty.